Hey there everyone, so this is a quick tutorial to show you guys what you can expect inside and from the brand new updated Ultimate Expressions Bundle. So in this particular tutorial, we're going to look at the following. We're going to firstly look at how to install the Ultimate Expression Bundle, and then we're going to look at what's inside the bundle. And then thirdly, we're going to look at the Eren character himself and his clothing, and the special morphs that come with this character and his clothing. And then fourthly, I'm going to show you guys how to apply the Ultimate Expressions back onto our Eren character. And then finally, we look at how to add the Ultimate Expression spec onto your own character. So, let's get started with the installation process. So, the process of installation is actually quite simple, and it's no different than installing any particular pack onto your characters, whether you do it in iClone or Character Creator for that matter. So, what you're going to do is, you're going to open up iClone, and then choose the Content tab. Inside the Contents tab, you now need to choose the Template tab, and now you can do one of two things. You can either go to the New Purchase tab, and you'll find it there, or you can do what I'm doing here, and simply type Ultimate into the search bar, and that will bring up our pack. Now, you'll notice that the pack is grayed out, which obviously means it's not installed. So to install it, you're simply going to double-click on the icon. There we go. Simple as that. Now, all we're going to do is wait for the download. So while it's downloaded, I just to point out to you guys that this is quite a big pack. It's about four gigabytes uh, because it includes a high quality character with his hair, t-shirt, pants and shoes. And you'll see all of that things as soon as it's downloaded. There we go. Our pack is downloaded. But what can I expect to see inside this pack? Let's have a look at that quickly. If you've got the full bundle and you have the July 2023 update, this is what you can expect inside the Ultimate Expressions. The first thing you'll notice are there are two project files, which you'll find in your projects folder. The one is a Kevin character, which has his preloaded Ultimate Expressions. And then you'll have an Aaron character, or Aaron character project rather, with Aaron and his Ultimate Expressions preloaded. Then there is uh, Aaron's unique Toon style t-shirt. Uh, and like I mentioned earlier, that comes with its own morphs. And this t-shirt can in fact be uh, used on any character. It auto fits any character. Uh, then we will see Aaron's jeans and his shoes, which are both, uh, in fact, standard Reillusion based products. As well as Aaron's red hair and his red brows, which are also standard products. All I did was I just tinted the brows and the hair to a red color, which you can obviously use on any character as well. And then, of course, there's the 140 expression sliders, which you would be able to find inside your animation expressions window. Now, even though it can be used from the table itself, I don't recommend it. I will show you guys uh, the proper way of actually using the expressions later on. I have some great news. The latest update of the Ultimate Expressions pack now includes two characters. So you're going to be getting your Eren character. Uh, you'll find that under your character folder, as well as a Kevin CC3 Plus I Avatar character as well. Yes, so this is your standard Kevin character, but he comes with his own set of Ultimate Expressions. That's right. These expressions have been revised for a more realistic, lifelike type character. So that's right. You're getting two sets of expressions with this pack. One for a Toon Style character, and one for a more realistic, less exaggerated character as well. And what's more is the latest update of the Ultimate Expressions pack now boasts two drag and drop facial profiles. You'll find these face profiles under Actor inside the Face Profile folder. This means that all you're going to do now is simply load your character and then simply drag and drop either of the two expressions onto your character. So there's no need to send your character off to CC4 and to save the profiles, it's right here inside iClone. Once you've loaded your character and dragged and dropped the expression, you now have the option of either replacing the existing facial expression profile, or if your character already has a custom set of uh, facial profiles, you can simply click on the Add button. In our particular case, we can simply click Replace All, and that's it. Your character now has the Ultimate Expressions profile completely loaded and ready for animation. Let's do a quick test to check out the expressions, and you'll find this under the Animations, Face Key, and inside the Modify window. And there we go. Our ultimate expressions has been loaded onto our character. As simple as that. Okay, now that we know what's inside the pack, let's open up the project file and let's take a detailed look at our character and his clothes and of course the morphs that I mentioned earlier. Alright, so once your project file is open, you'll immediately see Aaron and he's kitted out in his full outfit. Um, and now if you open this particular project and you see the iClone watermark, that means that you have not purchased the Cartoon Character Designer Toon Figures, which is required if you want to use the Aaron character in any of your animations. At this stage, I think it's important to note that you do not need the Toon Character Pack to use the Ultimate Expressions Pack. So the iClone watermark is only limited to the actual Eren character. The hair, the brows, the t-shirt, the jeans and the shoes can be used without any limitations, but in order to use the Eren character, you need to purchase that particular pack. Alright, let's, uh, let's have a detailed look into our character. We're going to start off by looking at Eren's Toon Style t-shirt. 
So to get access the morphs that this particular t-shirt comes with, you can do the following. You uh, first you click on the modify panel. Once in the modify panel, you can then open the animation tab. And then you can click on Morph Animator. And this will bring up our Morph Animator window with all the various sliders. So let's run through some of those morphs quickly. I'm not gonna be able to run through all of them. I think there's plus minus, I haven't counted it yet, but plus minus 30 of these morph sliders. Uh, the big ones or the key ones are, we'll start from the top, the bottom down all morph. Um, and this will bring down your t-shirt all the way. Now, I know this looks terrible because it pokes right through his jeans. Uh, but yeah, I have got a, another morph slider that will help you to sort this thing out. So I'm gonna scroll down here, I'll show you guys. There's another morph called bottom front forward. There's a slider for that. There we go. Now, if we slide this up, you'll see the t-shirt actually moves out on the front side. Uh, so those two morph sliders will obviously be used together. And then continuing down in the order of appearance, uh, the next morph will be the bottom front up. And then you'll see a bottom up all slider. And then further down, you'll find the bottom back up. And the sleeves have their own morph sliders as well. The first one is the left sleeve down. And then of course, there's the right sleeve down. And then the neck of the t-shirt also has its own sliders, including the following, have the front neck forward, back neck back, which pulls the back section of the t-shirt's uh, collar back. And then of course, we will have a left neck out and a right neck out. So you can access uh, any of the, the surrounding areas around the neck of the t-shirt. And going back to the sleeves, we've got another two sliders there. So those previous two took the sleeves down. We've got two that takes the sleeves up. So if he wants to roll the sleeve up, or if he's in a fight, or for some reason you need to slide his t-shirts up, you'll have the left slide up and the right slide up morph sliders as well. Then there are morph sliders to help you with more big body movements. My favorite one, and one that I create for all my characters, is the deep breath. So you've actually got a breathing slider here as well. There's one for the t-shirt called deep breath t-shirt. And as the name suggests, this will morph the t-shirt while there's one called Deep Breath All, that particular slider will morph the t-shirt as well as any other part of the character, brows, or anything that's affected by that particular morph as well. And then moving further on, we've got the bottom front forward, which we already looked at earlier on. And then there's the bottom back out, bottom of the t-shirt left out, and bottom of the t-shirt right out. And these come in very handy when your character is doing side-to-side -side movements or is bending to the left or bending to the right. You'll see that they come in quite handy there. Um, and then we've got another couple down here. The next one is the right sleeve bottom in, and right then there's the left sleeve bottom in. And these are also two of my favorite morphs because uh, as you notice, when the character pushes his hands to, or at least his shoulders towards the body, you'll find that the t-shirt pokes through the body. And this was actually very helpful to create sort of a push the t-shirt in so that it actually looks a lot neater as you can see here. And then, uh, you know, our friend Aaron here gets into trouble sometimes. So I've got some sliders to accommodate for that as well. We've got a stomach punch. So that particular slider, as the name suggests, is when he gets punched in the stomach. Um, and then we go further down. Uh, the other one that's also important, I'm going to skip the body stretch one because that one's not quite, didn't quite come out the way I was hoping to. As you can see, the t-shirt stretches as well as the body. Um, and then there's the one that I use quite often, which is the sit down slider. And as the name suggests, this allows the character to sit down. So it pushes the t-shirt in. And if you push, pull sit down all, you'll see it'll bring the pants and the body in uh, at the bottom especially as well. So you can sit down. And then there's a couple of more uh, neck sliders here. Neck stretch. There's neck wider. Neck narrower. Uh, to drop the neck down and you can push the neck up or the back and then there's a neck raise as well and there's quite a few others the last three I'm going to mention um, and these are basically to widen the sleeves and then two sort of full body um, sliders as well one that activates his biceps now obviously this would need to be in conjunction with his body and then there's a body stronger slider as well in case you want to move our thin middle character into a more bodybuilder style character all right, so that's the morphs on the t-shirt. Uh, let's have a look at Eren's body morphs. Uh, I'm not gonna run through them all, but here's some of them. Um, the two top ones will be the punch cheek in, again, when he fights and someone punches him on the left cheek, you've got to slide it for that. Or if he gets punched on the right cheek, uh, you can then use the punch cheek in, right. Uh, and we've already had a look at these ones, the deep breath, stomach punch, body stretch we looked at, and then of course, the sit down as well. Then we have the head narrower, head longer, head deeper, and head flatten facial expressions but it also accommodates for the hair so with the slide you can obviously move your hair separately to make the hair fit the character in case it doesn't auto morph with the character as well and then there's this one is another useful one that i want to point out it's called the move brow out and this is for your uh, for Aaron's brow and this is especially helpful if you've ever taken a character over to unreal engine sometimes what happens is the actual brow gets caught in the skin mesh especially when the expression is quite wild and this slider will help you with that. To your leisure, you're welcome to have a look at all the other sliders. There are some hair ones and pants one as well, but you can welcome to have a look at those sliders in your own time. Which brings us to the star of the show, because I'm sure that's why you guys are watching this tutorial, is the ultimate expressions. How do I actually incorporate that and how do I use that? So to access your 140 expression sliders,
Firstly, obviously select your character. Then open up the animation tab. Once in there, you can then click on the face key tab. Now inside the face key editor window, you would select modify. And then in the modify window, you'll find your face keys. Another new feature that comes with the updated version of the Ultimate Expressions Pack is the new folder system. So in the previous version, all the expressions were under the Customs folder, which made it very difficult to find the correct expression. Now, they're all in separate folders. And here's the list of the folders you'll find inside the Ultimate Expressions Pack. The first one is the face shapes. Here you'll find your four face shapes, and these are especially useful when you're busy with two characters. You've got Swash and Stretch. And then the positive emotions, this is where you'll find your 35 positive expressions, and notice they're all in alphabetical order, which makes it much easier to find. And the next folder would then be your negative emotions, and you guessed it, this is where you'll find your 35 negative expressions. Then there's a special folder for your visine or your mouth closed expressions, and these are obviously aimed at speaking character. The next folder is your unconscious actions, and this folder will hold the expressions for breathing, sleeping, and other natural facial expressions. Then what I've also done is I've created an upper face expressions folder, and as the name suggests, this is where you'll find your eyes only expressions, which is also useful if you're having talking characters. And then obviously there's also a lower facial expressions, and this is for your mouth only expressions. And then the final folder will be all your position sets, and in case you don't know, this is where you'll find all your individual face parts, uh, where you can set your brows, there's four of these sliders. You can also set your lips, another four of those sliders. And then there are a number of eyelash position settings, which is very helpful, especially when you're tweaking your expressions and your eyelashes go all over the place. There's a frown up and a frown down expression slider. And then there are also a number of adjustment sliders for your teeth. So you can set your teeth in, out, up or down, for the bottom and the top set of teeth. Ah, this should make it a lot easier to find the particular expression you're looking for. So another feature that was fixed with the latest update of the Ultimate Expression Spec is the eye occlusion and the tear line mesh. So if your character has an eye occlusion and or a tear line mesh, then simply apply the Kevin Ultimate Expressions to your character. So you're obviously welcome to edit your expression by making it more or less exaggerated. That you can simply do by clicking on the slider and you can either push the slider beyond 100% or you can bring it down under 100% if you want to make it less exaggerated. If by any chance you find your eye occlusion or tear line not lining up with the actual facial expression, there's a simple fix. All you're gonna do is go into your scene window, select your CC base eye occlusion. You'll find that under your character. And then open the modify window and click on the tab. And now all you're gonna do is just click the reset mesh button and boom, the eye occlusion is fixed. And then before saving your expression, I'll suggest that you do the same with your tear line mesh. So go back to scene. This time we're gonna click the tear line mesh and we're gonna once again click the modify tab. And there we go, reset mesh. Done. Now let's save the edited expression by opening the facial expression editor and simply clicking on the lightning icon. There we go, our expression is ready for animating. Let's take him over to iClone again and I'll show you guys there what Kevin looks like with uh, his various facial expressions. All right, there you go. Kevin now has his 140 expression sliders, 70 expressions, and another 70 uh, settings and position sliders as well. And then finally, I'd like to point out two requirements to get the most out of this pack. The first one, as I've already mentioned, is the fact that you need the Cartoon Character Designer Toon Figures Pack if you plan to use or render out your Eren character. So the reason you need this pack is because the Eren character is actually based off one of the particular tunes from this pack. And then the second requirement relates directly to the ultimate expressions itself. Now, if you're using the ultimate expressions inside iClone or Character Creator on that particular ecosystem, then there are no limitations. You won't find any watermarks and you'll be able to use them quite freely. But if, however, you plan to send Eren or any of your characters that has the expressions back to either Omniverse, Unreal, Unity, or Blender, or any other software for that matter, you will need the following two packs to be able to export your character. The first pack you will need is the Headshot Morph 100 Plus. Now, you can either get this particular pack on its own, or you can get it by purchasing the Headshot 1 or Headshot 2 plugin. 
Then the second pack, which you're also going to need if you want to export these expressions, is the Digital Human Essentials Ultimate Morphs Pack. Once again, you can get this particular pack on its own, or if you have or want to, you can also purchase it with the Ultimate Digital Pack, which is a 4-in-1 pack that includes your skin gen, your realistic skin, makeup packs, and of course the Ultimate Morphs as well. So that's it. Uh, if you're still hesitating to get this pack, I want to encourage you to have a look at the long list of expressions that comes with it. I'm pretty sure that when you do, you'll realize that you may never need to create another facial expression again. So why not breathe life into your characters by getting the Ultimate Expressions Pack? It should be noted that this particular Expressions Pack can either be bought through this bundle, which includes the Eren character with his expressions, as well as the Kevin character with his expressions, and of course Eren that has a t-shirt and hair and all those morphs that comes with it as well. Or if you're only interested in the actual expressions for more realistic characters, why not get that particular pack on its own, which will include the Kevin character with his particular realistic expressions. The choice is up to you. And that's it from me. Thanks again for watching this video all the way to the end. I look forward to hearing back from you. Thanks everyone. Bye.